Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBR Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrlabs.org. In this video, we will talk about how to display a real time serial data using Python. We also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on machine learning, data science, Python. Uh, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, etc. So, if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org, or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. Okay, so let's start with it. Let's first give a little about our hardware. So, what is happening here? Uh, here we have this Arduino hardware and right now it is connected to this potentiometer and we also have uh, uh, this LDR connected in series with this resistance. So right now we have already have programmed this Arduino to send data serially at an interval of uh, 200 millisecond to computer at a baud rate of 9600. So let us look at the output of this uh, Arduino hardware which we are getting ok so uh, you can see directly on Arduino ID go to tools and go to serial plotter so here you can visualize uh, the output of this Arduino so right now it is sending data so let us try to change uh, let us try to change the output ok so let us try to change the output by varying the potentiometer ok so we are increasing the resistance its value is increasing and we are reducing it ok so here uh, this is just to show like uh, we this Arduino is sending uh, some serial data continuously so what we are going to do in this video we are doing we are trying to plot exactly the same plot right now which we are seeing using Python so it uh, when we try to do the same thing using python so there are two basically two different tasks right two different tasks means like first we need to read the serial data which is coming at the serial port and then to plot it okay so first of all we will learn how to read the serial data uh, which is coming at any specific baud rate so in order to do the same in python we need a module which is known as the pi serial okay so you need to install this pi serial prior okay uh, using this particular command so we already have installed in uh, this is spider so in order to do the programming we are using this spider uh, id okay we already have installed this uh, uh, pi serial into it so let's try to read one byte of data okay and then we'll move forward with the uh, reading multiple bytes okay so first of all let's import pi serial as sr okay now let's first save this file okay now let's save this file to uh, serial plot okay and then save it now in order to read the serial data, first of all, we need to create a serial object that can be created by s equals to sr dot serial. And in this, we need to provide the COM port uh, to which this um, uh, Arduino is connected. So right now, in Windows, we are using this COM8, but if you are using Linux distribution or some other, so you can use the corresponding uh, COM port. Uh, in here and then we need to specify the baud rate at which this uh, Arduino is sending data to the computer right and then because we want to read only one single data right uh, so reading a single line uh, is uh, simple as dot read line because uh, uh, what actually uh, this uh, serial port the coding is like it keeps on sending a new line of data okay so that is why we are using this as dot read line let's say if we you are get in your application you are getting a data continuously 
then you can get uh, there are several other functions as well like read byte or read a specific number of bytes then you can use that particular function right so right now uh, this Arduino is sending one number and then new line then another number and then new line and so on so that's why we are using this read line function so after executing this code we will get a variable uh, variable here and we will get a value in a so if we type a so it is uh, yeah so if we type a it is b4 binary and it is directly uh, encoded in utf coding UTF. so we want to convert it into that uh, into some decimal number so we need to type another one like a dot decode okay so it automatically decodes the number now it converts this a into a string so if i type a right so right now it's in uh, bytes that is a kind of string and then we can write like b equals to float we can convert it into float a of 0 to 4 index so this is how we'll get our b data exactly the value which uh, the voltage value uh, which Arduino is sending to it okay so these are the similar commands uh, which we will be needing to uh, get the voltage value from this Arduino port so actually whatever we receive on serial port that is in the form of a ASCII characters right so we need to convert those ASCII characters into a floating point number in order to plot it so that's what uh, we are doing here to be equals to float a of 0 to 4 okay so now let's uh, this was the simple like how to read a single byte now let's create a complete program I would like to plot it okay so for that we need to plot matplotlib matplotlib.pyplot as plt and we may also need the numpy okay so first of all uh, we will make plt dot close uh, so if there is any figure is there that will be closed to it and then there is a command uh, we will open the figure plt dot figure and then we will make this command plt dot ion i own so otherwise uh, what happens if we make plt dot show so our control is stuck there so by using this ion command control doesn't hold to the plot command only and all the instructions which are uh, written afterwards this plt.show those will be executed and then plt.show okay now uh, we need to create obviously a serial object so we'll create at first okay and then yeah uh, because we want to plot data so we need to append into an array so we will create an empty array of data uh, so that uh, the next data can be appended into it okay so okay, let's get some lines now we will keep on doing let's say while true or we can say um, for thousand number of times let's say make it up to the hundred only so let's say and um, i equals to zero okay. and till while i is less than 100 only till then it should work okay so we'll write uh, we will read our data and then we will decode the data and then we will make a float convert it into float Let's make it simple. We have defined some variable i, and then we will append into data. So data equals to np dot append, and it should be appended into data only. So data com b. Okay. So whatever data we have get, uh, we have received from the zero port, that will be appended into the array, and then we will first will clear all whatever is plotted earlier and then we'll plot it again plt dot plot of data and then we will make plt dot pause 
so we need to provide some pause otherwise it will not display anything so we need to give some time to matplotlib in order to plot the data on the screen and then yeah okay and then we need to increment i so otherwise it will not stop okay so let's see how it works okay so i will turn on the webcam as well right so <coughs> Now I hope the screen is visible to you. Okay, let's run it. Okay, could not open com port. Permission error access is denied. Okay. Let's run it again. Yeah, now it's working. Okay, so i value has been so it is plotting the data so i think some random noise is generated because uh, this is nearly 3.65 okay okay so let's uh, run it again okay we need to sometime we need to put command like s dot close okay uh, so that uh, uh, it close automatically so we can also write like here okay so let's run it i hope you are visualizing it okay so let's run it okay again it has not closed properly okay so like s dot close yeah so now let's run it and we will try to change the potentiometer uh, so that we can get a variation on it. So let's run it. Okay, you are getting data. Okay, value is increasing, decreasing, and so on. So you are varying this uh, uh, voltage in real time and also plotting the data on computer in real time. Okay, so we run this. This code for 100, uh, 100 iterations only, so it took 100 samples and then stopped. Okay, so this is the very basic one how to plot uh, data. Now, let's try to get this LDR data from it. We can get the same one. So, what we are now doing, we are connecting VCC and ground, and then we are taking the LDR data from it from here. Okay, so we know uh, when light falls upon it. Uh, its resistance got decreases if I am right and because if resistance decreases the voltage across it uh, because voltage across this resistance will increase okay so let's run it okay so we are getting let's yeah so we are when we are putting dark we are uh, uh, the resistance of this LDR is increasing and the voltage across this resistance will get decreased. So that's what we are getting here. So we can put if entirely dark, okay, let's run it again because the voltage variation is so yeah and it is in complete light. So try to put more light on it. Yes. Okay, so there's a variation into it so i ha huh, so i hope you learn like how to display this data in real time on python so uh, it's really cool and i hope you understand a lot so uh, if you have any doubt or any comment or any suggestion then you can let us know by commenting below this video okay Further, we also provide online training, help in technical assignment. We also do freelance projects based on machine learning, data science, Python, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by commenting below this video. Okay. And we will try to help you out. Okay. So that's it for this video. Thank you.